Well, unless you've had your head in the sand for the last few months, you'll be very well aware of Microsoft's changes to their Edge internet browser. Personally, I think Edge is disgraceful. I hate it. If it came down to using Edge or Internet Explorer, I'd go back to Internet Explorer in a, in a flash, basically. However, Microsoft is changing Edge, and in order to make it faster, better, and simpler, they've decided to use a Chromium base as the subsystem to Edge. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Microsoft Edge Chromium based, also includes Linux support and Internet Explorer integration. This is Backyard Tech News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Thursday morning. I want to thank a good personal friend of mine, a great mate of the Backyard Tech Channel, and an excellent YouTuber. Guys, please, for old mate and for Dan Calloway, go and subscribe to Dan's channel, Data Pioneer. All right, please, go and show him the support that he deserves. Um, he's an excellent, excellent YouTuber. And what he's doing at the moment regarding a programming course is, well, for old mate, it's mind-blowing, frankly, because there's no way I could do it. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> He sent me a link to this uh, this news story privately, so thank you for this, Dan. Big shout out to you and your channel. This is from ghacks.net. Chromium-based Edge, Linux support and IE integration. Microsoft's upcoming Chromium-based version of Microsoft Edge has not been unveiled officially, but leaks give us a good idea of what to expect from the new browser. Some features were overlooked in the initial reviews. When Microsoft launched Edge Browser, it made it a Windows 10 exclusive. While you could gain access to Microsoft Edge using a virtual machine, exclusive, exclusivi exclusivity meant that Edge did not get off to a good start. And look, I don't like Edge by default. I've said that many times. I've had a few people say I should use Edge instead of Firefox. That ain't happening. Um, Windows 10 users could not sync data between Edge on Windows 10 and their mobile applications. This changed with the release of Microsoft Edge for mobile devices. The decision to release the browser for non-Microsoft operating systems, but still, but not to, but not the still supported Windows 7 or 8.1, did not sit well with customers who were still using these operating systems. <coughs> Excuse me. The new Chromium-based Chromium Edge will be available for other platforms according to Microsoft. The company mentioned Mac OS X specifically, but it is very likely that it will also be available for Linux. Probably the best indicator that Microsoft Edge will be available for Linux is found in the Microsoft Edge itself. Load Edge colon slash slash flags and the look of compatibility information that is displayed next to each uh, experiment. You find Linux listed for many of the experiments, but not only, hang on, try that again. You find Linux listed there for many of the experiments and not only Windows or Mac. Microsoft did edit these as you don't find Chrome OS listed on the mobile operating systems. The list is indicated, but, not ver but no verification. There is none at the time. It's, it is still up to Microsoft to release the new Edge for Linux. Chance is good that this is going to happen. Internet Explorer tab inside Edge. The second feature that slipped by initially is the integration of Internet Explorer in Microsoft Edge. Windows latest discovered that the flag enable IE integration under experiments, which enables hosting IE Internet Explorer in a tab. That's not a bad idea. Now, my Australian viewers will probably know this. Um, I know it. There is a couple of departmental areas here in Australia, specifically Victoria, where you can only access the services via Internet Explorer. 
all right those services are written in ie rather than in edge or some form of multi browser platform subsystem for want of a better term now i know what they are i'd be highly surprised other people here in australia don't but here in victoria we do have a couple of um how shall I put this, justice areas that are written in IE and certain government departmental websites that are also written in IE. So the problem there is that in some cases, some users here in Victoria, especially at the business level, have to run Edge and IE, which is inane. But if they're going to put IE as a tab option inside edge that's gonna mean the death of ie assuming microsoft get it right notice i said assuming that's the operative word the feature does not work currently as it appears to be in a in development at this time the most likely explanation is that it it may be used to load individual sites in internet explorer's rendering engine in microsoft edge's browser I said subsystem, I should have said rendering engine, sorry. The current Microsoft Edge browser comes with an option to open a web page in Internet Explorer. You need to do select more tools open in Internet Explorer to do so. The new option, provided that it will load web pages in a tab in Microsoft Edge, would be more comfortable as you would not have to juggle between two browser windows as everything would just open in the Edge window. So it would become more streamlined. So, while we knew about Microsoft grabbing open source Chromium base for the new Edge web browser. Okay, so a couple of good things here, all right? Number one, better integration with IE. So that's good, especially from a rendering engine subsystem point of view. That's the first point. Second point, Mac OS X. Now, I'm no fan of Safari. Okay, my iMac here has got Firefox on it. Okay, so that's probably a good thing. Linux. Now, I'm going to say something here that's either going to be agreed with or disagreed with. Those that are open-minded regarding operating systems, so aren't locked to... A specific operating system. They use every operating system daily, whether it's Windows, whether it's Mac OS, whether it's Linux, whether it's Unix. Okay. A Chromium based browser from Microsoft into Linux could cause an arc up from the Linux community. I'm not saying it will, I'm saying it could. Okay. Those that have a severe despise of Microsoft probably are going to be spitting chips over this because to them it may look like Microsoft trying to encroach into a free and open sourced community, that being the Linux community. Okay, so you're probably going to see like to me personally it probably won't affect me because i use firefox and if i have to for whatever reason which i've never had to before get to these couple of justice areas here in victoria i've used ie so depending on how open you are regarding operating systems and whether you would see this as Microsoft encroaching inside Linux, which is, to some people, that's what it will look like. Okay, it will look like Microsoft trying to get inside the Linux community. Personally, I think that could backfire. Because... Microsoft, by definition, aren't known for being free and open. When it is released, officially, um, we might have a bit of a sticky beak at it here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Um, but I must say, look, I'm not 
I know I get into trouble for saying this. I don't like chrome. I don't like chromium. Okay. Yes, you could say, like I say about MacOS users with the blinkers on. Yes, I've got the Firefox blinkers on. I admit that. I love Firefox. Always did. Started with Netscape, moved to Firefox, and I've been using Firefox, for the, well, Struth, I think, most of the time I've been online now. Okay. So I've sworn by Firefox. Now, I know it's a bit inane for me to sit there and say, but hang on, old mate, you, you're an Android user. You, you should love Chrome and Chromium. No, I should not. So I don't know how this is going to go. I would, I, I would make the assumption, and I'm making a very broad assumption here, that some hardcore Linux people are going to, like I said, be spitting chips over this. They don't want Microsoft coming anywhere near Linux. Period. It's sort of a fair argument, I guess. But it'll be interesting to see. But as I said, look, for my Australian viewers, you know about this regarding Victoria. And, you know, if I know it, we all know it here in Australia. So it could be interesting to see how this turns out. Put it that way. So there we are. Bit of news to kick off a Thursday morning. Stick around. A fair bit more coming up here at the Backyard Tech Channel today. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.